Hi guys, I'm Joe Bolt, and I want to thank you all for the amazing reception on my single Cold Feet. Thing has got over 3,000 views in like 11 days. That is absolutely insane. So thank you everyone who's been watching and liking and everything else. And as a little celebration to how amazing this single is doing, I want to show you guys the guitar solo. Um, I'm going to do my best to not get too nerdy and theory heavy. Fingers crossed, we'll see. So let's get straight into it. First we're gonna do a little bit of a gear talk. So this was done on my Fender Shatacaster with single coils. Um, I have got a humbucker HSH strap, not on this one. This one was just straight single coils. Running into a matchless DC-15. Not a real one, obviously. This is 2024. We don't use real amps in the studio anymore. Plus, I think my neighbours might kill me if I suddenly rocks up with a DC-15. No, this was done on the Helix. Today I'm running in bias, but uh, recorded it was running on the Helix. It may have actually been the AC-30 instead of the DC-15. They're basically the same with a slight tweak, but I'm kind of leaning towards the DC-15 flavour these days. And just fattened up a little bit with a Tube Screamer. Not a ton of gain coming out of it. It's mostly more of a, a level boost to just try and get some more saturation out of the amp. There's actually not as much gain on this as you might expect. That's it. Uh, delays and reverb, I have no idea. I've just got some delay, some plate reverb. Uh, that was down to whatever the mix engineer did, and I have absolutely no idea. So with the gear talk out of the way, let's start talking about the parts. So we start straight away on the middle pickup position, everything full, and we've got that slidey bendy part. So just hit any low note on the low E string and slide up. Not accurate. I don't do it the same way twice. It doesn't matter. Just a slidey noise on the low E string. And we're going to start straight away by bending to D sharp. So we're going to take the C sharp on the B string and bend it up to E sharp, uh, pardon me, D sharp on the E string. Same move again. But this time we're going to bend E to F sharp. Same move again, but this time we're going to bend to G sharp. Fairly straightforward start. Then we've got our first little widdly bit. So we're based around this sort of position here on the 14th fret and we're going to do a little trill from 14 to 16, so F sharp to G sharp and back again and then down to E on the B string and then I want you to walk up oh pardon me so we're doing F sharp, G sharp and B what I'm finding is the more I have to slow down and think about what I'm actually playing the more actually I'm getting confused by what I'm playing because I've done it that many times now so we've got a trill and then a climb up up to the B, and then we're going to bend the B up to a C sharp. There you go, that's the first bit of the solo. You can, if you want, just for a bit of extra detail, get a rake in there for the bend. So you're kind of muting the shings, so... You're getting all the sound of the dead shings that I'm muting, and it just adds, rather than just... Which is a bit feeble. You get that that ringy muted string sound just adds a bit more impact to the bend. So that's a fun little trick to have. So after we're holding this, well, while we're holding this bend, you're gonna flick the switch onto the neck pickup. Now it's gonna get a bit of a weird effect, but it's usually unless you're looking for it, you never really notice it. And now we're over the E chord. And over the E chord, I'm trying to sort of play it out chord by chord as I went through the solo. So over the E chord, I really wanted to bring out the Lydian sound. And my favourite way to do that is with the C sharp Dorian shape. So around the 9th fret. And on the 11th fret on the B string, that's the Lydian 4. That's the sharp 4. It's a really sort of Steve Vai kind of sound. And it's a lovely shape to do it. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a little walk up. We're starting on G sharp and we're going to pull off to F sharp. We're on the A string. So just 11 to 9. And we're going to do that little pull off on every string. But then we're just going to play 11 on the B string. So we get A, D, G and F sharp. Try not to let the strings ring over. You do want some separation. Then we've got another little widdly bit. I'm doing lots of little widdly, widdly bits. One of my favourite little moves is this. Playing a note and then sliding to it on the next string. Playing dreadfully now. Sounds awesome. So, 
<laughs> what we're doing there, we're on the A sharp and we're going to do a little trill up to B and back. Down to the G sharp. Then we're going to come down to the F sharp on the G string. Okay, now we're going to do the little forwards and backwards. So we're doing F sharp, hammer on, pardon me, G sharp. I'm talking garbage. So we're going to do G sharp, hammer on to A sharp, F sharp, then the G sharp, back to that F sharp and slide up. So we've got the trill down to here. Then, so G sharp, A sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp sliding to G sharp. After that, we've got the little walking up pedal note thing. So a pedal note is when you play a note over and over again in between other notes. So for every note we play, this G sharp we're going to play here on the 13th fret. We're going to play that in between every note. So we get A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, straight to F sharp. We skip E, and it's F sharp as a bend up and down. So that little section. By this stage we're playing over the G sharp minor chord, so for this section I wanted to think about specifically G minor blues. And um, we're already in a great position for that around this sort of... Around the 13th fret we've got a really nice G sharp minor pentatonic shape to play with. And for this section we're going to switch back to the middle pickup, so during that bend Got to switch back to the middle pickup. You're going to get really good at switching really subtle positions. I mean, you'll notice in the beginning, the little intro part I was playing was on position four. Switching from position four to the middle position, not the easiest thing in the world. It takes a bit of finesse. But keep trying and you'll get it. So, G sharp minor blues, and we're doing this line. Pretty generic blues line, but I thought it was tasteful. So we're starting on the C sharp. We're going to bend up to D sharp. Let it come down, down to B, and back to the C sharp. Then we're going straight down to G sharp. Then B, C sharp, B is another chill. Well, it's not really a chill. Not really a chill, just more of the forwards and backwards. And then just two more notes, which was C sharp and B. Alright, let's play through everything so far. So we've got the E Lydian walk up. Then we've got the Whitley bit. The little back and forth, then we've got the pedal note. Switch to the middle pickup, and G minor blues, uh, G sharp minor blues. Okay, next little bit, so we're still on the G sharp minor blues sort of thing, and we're going to bend the C sharp up to D sharp, then catch the F sharp with your pinky finger, play the C sharp again and release it. And if you can get that kind of scream in there, even better. Stuff like that always sounds cool. Weird noises, always a win. Okay, two more notes to round off this section, and it's B and C sharp. Put it together and we get... Which leads us into the last phase, and I'm really proud of this one. I think this one's super cool. I don't want to blow my own horn, but I didn't realise how cool it was until after I'd put it in, and I was like, yeah, that was cool. That's going in. So, here's what we're going to do. We're around the 16th sort of fret. And we're going to start the D sharp. I want you to trill D sharp to E and back to D sharp. Down here to the C sharp, to the B. Then you're going to bend. Here's the cool part. So you're going to bend the C sharp up to a D sharp. You're going to bend E on the B string up to an F sharp. And then you're going to play B. Why is that so cool? Because after the fact, I realised why I liked those bends so much. It's because I'm bending into a B major triad to resolve on the B major, on the one chord. Because you got the C sharp bending up to D sharp, there's your third. You got E bending to F sharp, there's your fifth. And then there's B. You're literally bending up to the B major up. Oh, God. Fender, come on. Ibanez figured it out. Why can't you? Has anyone got a hack so I can ball so I can make this guitar more playable? But, that's it. That's the whole solo. That's the whole thing. So you, you can tell why I'm just a little bit smug about that last run. And that's really cool. So first of all, let's put it all together. So we start with the slidey bend a bit. 
Back to F sharp. G sharp. Now the first little wiggly bit. Neck pick up, and we're doing the E Lydian walk up. Forwards and backwards. Pedal note. Middle pick up, and G sharp minor blues. And then the bending into the B major bit. So, let's shut the track on, see how we get on. We say to my And don't forget the unbelievable amount of vibrato on that last B. Uh, fun thing, and I'm going to just own up to it. I missed, and I ended up in second position. Kind of sounded cool, sounded pretty good. Uh, really not worth trying to get another take, because I missed by one pickup switch. But it just goes to show that like, you don't need to be too pedantic about these things. Like, if it works, it works, and that sounded cool, so I'm happy with it. So again, just thank you so much for the awesome reception that Cold Feet has had. I have got more songs, they are coming very soon. I'm waiting for single number two to get back to me from the producer in about 10 days. And then you gotta wait, because you know, you put it on Dish Your Kid too early and all of a sudden you do exactly what I did with Cold Feet, where I go, it's out now everywhere on Spotify and Apple Music. And it was not on Apple Music. Yeah, so let's not rush the distribution this time. There will be plenty more stuff to come and I'll probably put some videos on here when I can think of anything that's actually worth putting on that won't bore the pants off you. I promise I'm not going to turn into a vlogger. So, without further ado, thank you so much guys. I'm Joe Bolt. See you around. Take care. In a moment of peace, will you say to my face? Oh, will you get cold feet?